It was a season of firsts for the CUW men's hockey team. The Falcons are making their first ever postseason appearance. It was the best season in program history with a record 10 wins, and the Falcons also scored more goals than any other season. Breaking these records uh, is part of that process. So, uh, you know, we want to compete for conference titles, and to do that, you have to win a lot of games and you got to be able to score a lot of goals. So, uh, for us, uh, I think it's just a matter of staying the course, and, and uh, with that, uh, you know, breaking some records will come. The Falcons entered their first season in the newly reconstituted Northern Collegiate Hockey Association, facing off against some of the best teams in NCAA Division III. The Falcons met this challenge with a youthful energy. Coach Jason Wise, in his second year, is hoping this bodes well for the future. We want to compete on a national level, and uh, having a team like St. Norbert in our conference, uh, it's a great test for us during the season to see where we're at. Um, also, Adrian is in the conference as well. Uh, both teams have been ranked number one in the nation at different points in the season. So uh, when it comes uh, to recruiting and preparation and, uh, and trying to compete on a national stage, uh, it's great to have teams like that in our conference because it's a great test during the regular season. The Falcons are led by a pair of sophomores, Milwaukee native Devin Sturmer and Chris Hughes out of Dundee, Michigan. The two combined this season for 46 points. Of the 30 players on CUW's roster, 10 are freshmen and 13 are sophomores, including team captain Buster Hebda. I think we have a bunch of mature individuals and uh, treat uh, the people around the school, um, their teammates and people in the community with respect. And I think that's kind of what we're, we're aiming for as a, as a hockey program. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great to be looked up to. It's great to have the respect earned um, so early. And uh, it's just humbling and, and an honoring. The main focus for us uh, when we look at building a program, and that's what we're doing here, we're building it, uh, is that uh, we want uh, guys with a great work ethic, uh, guys that are committed in the weight room, they're committed uh, academically, and when they come to practice every day, they come ready to work. It's been a season of waves for the Falcons. CUW rode a six-game winning streak into mid-January, but went winless until their playoff clinching win against Northland February 8th. Coach Wise insists that sticking to the team's goals is the key. Well, for us, it's stay the course. Uh, we know that we're young. We know that we're going to make mistakes. We know that we're going to have to pay our dues. Uh, we, all of us knew that going in. So uh, when you are going through some tough times, uh, stay the course. You, uh, we all know what it takes to be successful. We know what we have to do on a daily basis and just keep doing those things. Go to work to practice the same way every day, keep doing the same things, and uh, that will eventually, uh, the waves will even out. The Falcons ended the regular season defeating crosstown rival MSOE for the first time in program history. The win sealed the Falcons in the sixth seed of the Harris Cup playoffs. They will play on the road against St. Scholastica tonight at 7 p.m. For me as the head coach, is trying to get all the guys to uh, play consistent shift after shift for 60 minutes. Um, and you have to do that against a team like St. Scholastica. Uh, if you take a few shifts off, they're going to score, and, uh, and it's hard to win hockey games when you're giving up a lot of goals. So uh, for me, I'm trying to, uh, to get the guys to, to focus, uh, focus on the task at hand, and play consistent shift after shift, and if we do that, we'll have a chance to win. I'm Nathan Kerner for CWFalcons.com.